for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymadencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best draft pick value and the best training value. I'm putting them together because why make two separate videos and I could just put them all into one. So I will be announcing the giveaway throughout this video. I've mentioned it twice probably. This is probably the first time you're hearing it, so stay tuned throughout the video. I will be mentioning towards the end. Thank you guys for watching. As of right now, it's very similar to the trend it's been at for quite some time, but the prices are obviously lower. Things have changed and things have come out, so I'm just going to be re-updating it. Haven't done this in quite a while. I actually haven't even done a draft pick one yet, actually, to be honest. But before we get into the video, if you guys don't already know about the secret code packs, go back to my last video and check it out. Pretty cool. You get a free egg. It's right there in the store. Very easy to do. Just go check out my last video. Just posted it. And now, again, before I get into the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I still have those 75k coins, so comment down below 75k. The like goal is 150, but at this point in the year, I don't know if we're ever going to hit that again until Madden 20, but I'll try it again. If it doesn't work out, then I'm probably going to hold on to the coins, or maybe at some point just give it away anyways. But let's see, 75k coins. Let's see if we can hit 150 likes. And yeah, make sure to subscribe. Our channel's been very, very slow these past few days, but it's all good. Kind of expect this at this point in the year. But let's get into the video. So for the training values. Okay, so let's head over to the auction block right here. Typically, the best cards per, like I just said, were going to be the top overalls per each promo, typically. Now, in this case, for training, it's it's a little it's a little reverse, actually. So I'm gonna filter my ultimate legends because they're still the cheapest per overall. If you understand what I'm trying to say. So 269 right now. I'll do the math for you on a calculator just so you guys don't think I'm making up numbers out of my ass. So divided by 20, well that's 98, it's 36,000. So that's going to be 20, 269,999 divided by 36,000 and you get 7.499. So that's pretty good. I don't think it's the top one though. I'm going to do it again to make sure my math isn't flawed, but I'm pretty sure it's not the top one. So no, 7, 7.49 or it's a round up 7.5 coins. So typically, from what I've learned, is that the 96-97s are usually the better bet, which being the 97s. So, 182, 950 divided by 26,000 is going to be 7.036. So that's better by half a coin. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it adds up. So that's definitely the better bet. There's Everson Walls. Anything, any of these cards below 188 typically would be about anything above like 190 probably at that point would probably be equivalent to the 98s so at that point stay 98 but anything below 188 190 i'd 97 would be the better bet now i could go down a bit but these are going to be horrible i'm pretty sure this is like 10 coins per look 97,000. 97,000 divided by 9k is 10.8 coins that's that's pretty bad that's a pretty bad training value so when it comes to training you got to do 97 98s anything else is just wasting your own coins and time don't bother now one quick little thing that i'm gonna put into the video here is that i usually mention but i didn't mention this time is that you guys there's one little trick here that you guys have to remember when it comes to buying training right sometimes the cheapest value isn't always worth it if you're going for something so let's say let me put that into perspective for you guys so let's say you want to power up a car that, that costs um 52,000 coins right and 52,000 training right so you need 52,000 training so look at it this way what's smarter right is it smarter to get 298s 198 197 297 so look 97s are the cheapest right so in this case 297s would cost you you'd have to buy two it'd be 180 each that's 360 and you'd get a 36,000 power um, I mean 50,000 power player right now 198 and 197 wouldn't obviously be the move there it'd be 297s now let me give you another scenario now in this case it is let's see what's what's a better scenario here so the, the 98s go for 36,000 when you quick sell them the 97s go for 27,000 now let's say the the card you need to power up is 32,000 right so what's smarter here or 30 33,000 32,000 33 what's smarter here is it smarter to buy 198 that you kind of lose a little bit of coins on or is smarter to buy 297s because if you buy 198 that's only two so that's only 270 if you buy 297s that's going to be 360 so you have to always remember that it's relative to what you're getting so i've had a few i've had a few scenarios like this where i needed like 30,000 training or 31,000 training but if i bought one if i bought one 97 overall then i'd have to get like a card for 3k training which might be another like 50k 
or so, let's say. Which would be it would it's just a it's a waste though though the what like what you're buying for that uh, that trading value just isn't worth it. Like or even I've had cards where it's like it's thirty it's thirty three point five or thirty four thousand total that I needed, and I get a twenty I get a ninety seven overall, and those cards go for. 27 so i need 5k now to get 5k training could be over could be over 100,000 coins like it's just a, a horrible training option so at that point you're better off going with the 98 because it'll cover everything so just remember that in terms of when you buy these that don't just buy the cheapest one because if it's not relative to what you need you might actually end up spending more because nothing's worse than coming over here and having to buy one of these let's say these cards what's the what, what's the training on these well let's say 87 Let's say you did, oh god. So you went to an 87, I'm pretty sure 87s are like 775. Pretty sure. So they're going for 15k, so let's say it's 15,000 divided by 875, which I'm just rounding. It's 17 coins per training. So it'd be, so you need 870, you need, let's say 5k divided by 875 would be 5.7 times 15,000. You'd end up spending almost 100,000 coins. Depending on what you got them for. That's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not worth it to get five, to get 100,000 coins for five, 100,000 coins for 5,000 training. When in reality, you could get a card that goes for 180,000 coins to get 26,000. So don't make that mistake. Just make sure you always keep it relative to what you need, per se. So that's about it, guys. Also, I will be announcing the giveaway winner at the end of this video for the second giveaway. So stay tuned for that sometime towards the end of this video. So stay stay tuned for that. I'm tossing this into the middle right now. Just to reiterate, 98s will give you 36,000 training points. The 97s will give you 26,000 training points. So you'd probably, if you want something for a high, you'd probably have to buy two 97s. Or if you want something really, really high, I mean two 98s, which would be about, two 98s wouldn't be too expensive. I mean, it'll be like, what are the 98s at right now? They're at, oh, I'm blanking. I'm blanking hard. 260, so that's gonna cost you about 520,000 coins, or the other one would be 360 for 297s. Not horrible. Now let's get into the draft picks. I'll spend more time on that one because I actually haven't done that one yet this year. So did I pass it it's down here? Yeah, it's all at the bottom, right? NFL draft. Before I go into, let me let me check what the color smash players are going for first. JJ Watt is really cheap. Okay, so I've come to the consensus. It is no longer this one, based on the new color smash is dropping in price quite a bit. It will be the Color Smash players. It's going to be these 97 Color Smash players that I just showed you guys. They are way cheap, which continues to go to why I'm telling you guys that's an amazing set to do. But I already explained that in an older video anyway. So, Miles Jack right here, 195. Their prices just go up. I'm losing it. I am losing it right now. I am 100% losing it. Okay, so I just did the randomizer. Sorry for this little Easter egg hunt throughout my video. I feel like, I feel like it'd be cool to just toss it in see who's watching but the winner for the giveaway is sebastian silva congratulations man you won the 300k um if you're on xbox dm me on twitter hit me up and we'll work out these coins the last giveaway winner has not received this coin yet only because he happens to be on ps4 we're trying to work it out with another coin sponsor to get them to give him the coins and then i give them my coin so as we're working that up the second winner has been picked sebastian silva Congratulations. Hopefully you watch my videos because if not you have about like 24 hours I'll give you to respond 24 to 40 and if you don't respond I'll re-roll it. But I'll give you the opportunity because I feel bad you did win so Hit me up and then we'll wait a few days if you don't if you don't respond then we'll re-roll it But hopefully you hit me up. So that's it guys back to the video. No, nope. they're fine. All right Yeah, this is the best value in the game by far Best draft value right here anything below 210 Just will be just fine. So that's pretty much it for this video guys thanks a lot for watching remember the 97 color smash players best draft value um, best draft pick value and for training it's going to be the 97 ultimate legends depending on how much you need but it's going to be the 97 ultimate legends that's about it for the video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed been enjoying the content for me personally i'm trying to create some new fun series and stuff going into the you know the, the summer and the later spring and seeing what i could do for the summer to keep myself interested because I know as Madden keeps going, the content's going to get more boring and more boring for most people, so i got to figure out a way to keep myself having fun on this and having fun throughout the summer to Madden 20. I cannot wait for Madden 20, but until then, make sure to like, comment 75k, and make sure to sub. You know, try to get the channel growing a little bit so we can have some kind of... So I can have a big audience to bring into Madden 20, so that's the goal. Get a big audience for Madden 20, and then 
See how we can grow off that. So hopefully all goes as planned, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you haven't already, go watch the egg video. This will probably be the last video for the day. So I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully tomorrow. I'm out.